Collins uh, Forrester, uh, Trey Black, Harmon coming on the scene, you know, Dominic Dodger, Peter Jones going out there to make plays. It's all about getting the guys the ball in, the, in the open space. Um, that's the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. They find a way to win one on one matchups, they find a way to isolate uh, their best players. Um, so we got a hell of a running back. Uh, and Christian Turner and Chris Evans coming back and Sean Wilson, so, you know, we got a lot to look forward to. Do you think that you guys will open up roles a little bit more next year? Um, no, I'm just going to trust, trust the process, really. You know, I couldn't tell you that. Do you get frustrated at all that, I mean, at the beginning of the season, the governor was kind of on you, Pep even said that a couple days ago, but do you wish it was a more wide open? Um... No, I think you uh, just need to execute better. What did Coach say to you guys when you got in the locker room after the game? Um, no, I said I don't even remember. I was so pissed off. Do you feel like you, just, you guys couldn't get anything going with it? Was it their pressure up front? Was it not being able to run the ball? Just couldn't get anything going? just need to you know, make plays and trust the process and the game plan. Um, you know, I think Dr. Ron, not, not any knock on the other running back, just you know, he's an offensive leader and um, contributed a lot in, in, in the rushing game. So, um, you know, without him, they hurt. Um, we got a lot of upcoming guys, like I said. So, um, Maybe sitting here and talking negative, and, and, and you, know, you know, Michigan doesn't win the big games all we want. Uh, I don't know what, what else is there to say? You know, we're going to come back and work our asses off in the spring, and uh, we're going to go from there. How does this it still has, in your guys' mind, has to be proven false, correct? What's that? It still has to be proven false. What's that? To, to win big games. The fact that you, people uh, say you can't win big games. Uh, you know, Michigan State was a huge game, I think. Penn State was a very big game, I think. Wisconsin at home was a very big game. I'm pretty sure all those three were good games. Uh, there's a lot of talent around the country, and you know, there's good players everywhere, so it's, that's just the nature of the game. You know, Florida came out had a ton of athletes, a ton of great, uh, really good players on defense in their second year. So. What will you take away from this season, this game, entering your senior year? Oh, I just remember how fun it was, Roger. You know, I got to play alongside Chase and, and uh, you know, live with him. And, you know, just get to go throughout the season with my brother. So, just looking back and, you know, knowing that I didn't take it for granted was, was a good thing that you know, I learned early on. So, um, the only thing you can do is move on from here. And, and, just try to be better and execute. Yeah. As a player, how will you like? As a player, how will you grow from the season going to next? Oh, I think just getting bigger, faster, smarter, and stronger. And, uh, you know, in any way possible, just try to help my team win, uh, win big games and, and win ball games next next season. Do you consider this season successful, and why or why not? Do I consider it successful? Yes, it's ending the season. I think it's successful, but it doesn't reach our expectations. Uh, you know, in terms of our own expectations, I don't think you know, anybody's in the locker room thinking, hey, you know, 10 wins, three losses, and lost to Ohio State, yeah, successful season. There's nobody in that locker room thinking that, and I think everybody yeah. thinks. Um, and that was kind of, you know, kind of like that, honestly. I think everybody in that, in that room and in that office knows what we're capable of, and that's why we're also pissed off. So I think that we're going to use that as fuel uh, to go ahead and, and use that in the next season. So if a team team loses two, game, two games to end the season like this, people might say that it doesn't bode well for next year. What, the way they ended, why would you say differently? Why would you say that these last two games are not, if they're not an indication of next year? Can you ask that one more time? Some people might look at these last two games and think that doesn't bode well for next season, the way Michigan finished and um, losing a lot of players. Do you think there, there is something that bodes well for next season? 
Um, I think we lost the whole game last year. We had an 8-5 season last year. Uh, went 10 and 3 this year. I think we just got to keep keep progressing. And the one thing you can't do is be negative and hold your head down. So uh, that's it. Is there anything that you feel like this team is missing? Like just something that you you know some kind of anything that you can look at and say, all right, if we have this, then we can make it to this next step. Yeah, I think just taking care of the little things, you know, details, um, on and off the field. And I think uh, you know, I can play. A bit more bigger uh, leadership role, and you know, I've, I've played college football for two and a half, three years now, and, um, and I think I'm going to take that role in the, in the spring. And once I'm uh, Ben and uh, you know, Josh is going to come back, and you know all the older guys, I think we're going to really get this team together and, and, and set goals, and, you know, goals that we're all we're all willing to do anything to reach. Now you mentioned the leadership and everything, and you talked about the. Quran not being there, maybe you know, not hurting and not helping the team rather today. But how much was it kind of uh, the void of leadership at all? If it was, you know, with uh, you know two of the team captains gone. You know, it's big. You know, those guys are you know, the guys who you know we're all guys who get each other going and stuff. And we, we're, we're pretty vocal, but um, you know, Quran's that horse. He's that horse that can that can get the nitty gritty yards that we need and. Like I said, I think we got a guy coming back next year, and then Chris back and True. So I think we'll, 